Hello guys! In previous video we demonstrated features of lightsabers from Pierce line on Saiga 9. And if I point directly into the sky like a lightsaber, very clearly visible. In this video I will focus on the setup of Saiga 9 that Dmitry and Nikolai Anatolievich had in previous video. I prepared three rifles. One has the setup the same as Dmitry had. Another one the same setup as Nikolai Anatolievich had. And also Vitez SN to demonstrate the differences between Saiga 9 and Vitez. And today I am Dart Anastasia and we'll start with the basic element, with the handguard. So there are two options of setup for Saiga 9 of handguard, either a shorter variant or a longer variant. A shorter variant is suitable both for Saiga 9 and for Vitez SN. And the longer sport variant is suitable only for Saiga 9, because Saiga 9 is longer than Vitez. You can see yourself. This is Vitez and this is Saiga 9. Sport kits just won't fit on Vitez. That's why for Vitez we use short variant. For Saiga 9 we can use both variants. I will start with a short one. Dmitry had a short variant of setup of his rifle. Here we see B21M handguard installed. B21 handguard has Picatinny rails on three sides. There are several modifications of this handguard. B21M with Picatinny on three sides. B21U with Picatinny on the bottom and basis rails on sides. And B21L. B21L has basis rails on all three sides, like on this Vitis. Here we have B21L handguard. It has basis rails on three sides. To install different accessories compatible with basis directly on the handguard. On this handguard, B19N upper handguard is installed. There are actually two options of upper handguards for B21M, B21U and B21L. They are B19N and B19. B19N is lower than B19, so this one is low and B19 has a full-size Picatinny rail on the top, so it is a little bit higher. Let's move to Nikolai Anatolievich rifle. Sport 3 kit is installed here and for Saiga 9 we have two options of Sport kits. Sport 3 and Sport 2. What's the difference? In my right hand Sport 2 kit, on the rifle Sport 3 kit. The difference is the upper handguard. So in Sport 2 kit the upper handguard has the same height on all its length and in Sport 3 kit there is a lowered front part for installation of different devices like Pierced 4. Both kits consist of three elements, the handguard B21L, the same handguard as I've already demonstrated on Vitis. So the kit, the parts of the kit can be used separately. You may use B21L handguard together with B19 or B19N upper handguards in a shorter setup. Also, DL2 additional attachment. DL2 also has basis rails on three sides for installation of different accessories. And the upper handguard is in the kit. There is B22 rear side rail installed on the handguard. It is needed for installation of collimator sides and in the video Nikolai Anatolievich had a sight on this rifle, but I did not install it right here. And I think that in near future I will speak about collimator sights much more. So wait a little bit. Also, hand stoppers installed on the handguard RL1 on sides and on bottom, actually anywhere where it is comfortable exactly for you according to your grip. 
muzzle devices. There are three options of muzzle devices for Saiga 9 and Vitis, but not all of them are available away from Russia. Nikolai Anatolievich had SV Saiga 9 shot stabilizer. Dmitry had DTK Saiga 9 shot stabilizer. And also one more option is available. I'll speak about it a bit later. Those two devices are not available for export right now, but we are working on a special edition of such a device that will be available for export, so in near future it will appear. But those devices, the difference is actually only the size, because the effect is the same. They help to make the sound pressure on the organs of hearing less, and with those devices I shoot without uh, earmuffs. Nikolai Anatolievich also shot without earmuffs, and that is normal with such a device, because they make the sound really more comfortable for your ears. SV Saiga 9 is compatible with Saiga 9 and also with Vitis. We have a special adapter to install this device on Vitis. This is also compatible with both long setups and short setups. DTK Saiga 9 is compatible only with short setups, because a long setup will not just fit in here, and it is compatible only with Saiga 9. Finally, third option, DTK 2V muzzle brake. It is loud, so you need to shoot with earmuffs with this device, but it reduces recoil and stabilizes the rifle. Note here, those two openings should be on the top of the rifle when you install this muzzle brake, because they are needed to uh, stabilize the shot. A part of gazes goes through those openings and it helps to stabilize the shot. Also, it can be installed on Saiga 9, but it needs a special washer for it. It is in the kit, so for Vitis you install it without a washer, and for Saiga 9 you install it with the washer, because Saiga 9 does not have this little pin. Both rifles have RP2 charging handle, RK3 pistol grip and PT1 stock. I made a review of PT1 stocks not long ago, also PT3 stock is compatible, so it depends on your choice, tubular PT3 or original skeleton PT1. Finally, lightsabers, pierced four on Nikolai Anatolievich rifle and pierced two on Dmitry rifle. Pierced four is two in one, visible laser and infrared laser, made in two modifications with green plus visible laser and with red visible laser. And pierced two is four in one, visible flashlight, infrared illuminator, infrared laser and visible green plus laser. Products that I demonstrated today can be ordered on our website en.zenitko.ru or in partner stores. See the list of official partners on en.zenitko.ru in partners section. Have a happy Halloween and see you next time. Goodbye!